Welcome everybody to a quick tutorial about recording and editing podcasts or your radio shows as a podcast in Adobe Audition. My name is Evan, I am the head of podcasting on Demon FM and I'm here to walk you through this very easy, very simple step tutorial. It's an additional material. It's perfect for you who are either doing radio right now or podcasting with us or just studying and just want to have a quick refresh on this. So, of course, we first open Audition, which is available on pretty much every computer on campus. Once conditions open, the first thing you always need to do, the first thing I would like you to never forget this, I want you to actually take a screenshot of this and never, never, never forget this. You need to make sure that the preferences are correct. Otherwise, Adobe Edition will not work. It will not record for you. It will not edit for you. It will crash constantly and you'll be like, oh my God, why is it doing it? Very simple. Go to File, Edit, the second one. So there's File, Edit, Multitrack, Clip, Effects, Favorite, View, Window, Help. You go to the second one. So you're going to Edit. Where is it? Yeah. You go to Preferences. You go to General. And then you go to Audio Hardware. And this is the point I want you to screenshot. It needs to be on LiveWire 3, LiveWire Out on 2. 3 to 2, 200 MME. Usually, the MME and the 200 part will not be different, but sometimes it will either be different or it would be on the correct one, but it says not working. If it does that, just click on it and just reselect it again. And press OK. It's important, otherwise Audition will not work for you. Please do this every time you're on campus or on campus ground and using Adobe Audition. The next one you can do, I mean, of course, when it comes to recording, it is the easiest part. You just press this and you name this, let's say, for example, pod one. Uh, we always like to keep the sample rate on 44100 because it is the best one and the bit depth on 16 because those usually are CD settings, like an audio CD you would buy. So it is perfect. You press OK. And now you can see my voice being recorded as I talk to you live. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Of course, you can pause your recording. Take a sip of a drink, do something, come back, you can resume. Oh, yeah, I'm completely back. This is a completely different, unique thing. And, of course, you can press the stop or space. And, of course, export it or, let's for the moment, let's delete it. So, let's say you have here an audio file that you need to edit because this is the biggest power point of the show. I have a radio show that I did for Halloween. And the best way to do it is literally just drag and drop it. Let's be honest, you can import it by file and open or control and no, but no one's going to do this. Most people just drag and drop. Just drag and drop. Nothing bad can happen. Uh, it will literally just import your, your stuff. So we have here, of course, a show that I did. This time is a radio show. I want to turn it into a podcast, but I do know that I cannot play copyrighted music. Where is exactly music in my radio wave? Can you see it? And now I sound like Dora. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> You can see that this clearly is different than the rest of the waves. Why? Because this is music. You can tell because the way we play songs through Zeta, it compresses them, it normalizes us in minus three automatically. And mainly because it's music, it's been already edited, so it already looks in a proper waveform. And of course, it's a continuous sound at the same time. Like talking is not the same thing as playing music. So you can actually tell very quickly what is the music and what you want to take out. For example, like, this is your student sound. Demon FM. Perfecto. And then your next step should be, how do I take it out? Very simply, use the mouse wheel. Scroll in and out. You can zoom in as much as you want. Personally, I like to get as close of the view as I can. Then you click on the start of the clip you want to get rid of. Oh, sometimes it will do that. If sometimes you double click and it double clicks like the whole timeline and you accidentally press delete, do not worry or panic. You can press Control Z or edit and undo and everything you did will come back. So never be afraid if you accidentally delete the whole clip. It's not over. It's not like, oh, always me. I need to do it all over again. Just control Z and you'll be fine. So here we're at the start of the clip that we want to get rid of. You click 
and then you drag your mouse all the way to the end point of the clip you want to get rid of. Then you press delete. That simple. Literally. That easy. Let's listen to it again. This is your student sound. Demon FM. What's up, Power Farm? It's me, Evan, your favorite metalhead. As you can hear, there's no music anymore. Of course, you, you're making a podcast, you're recording a podcast, and you might not have music in it. So you're like, oh, I'm done. But uh, there was an issue where someone walked into the room, or I was coughing, or there was, I didn't like the way I pronounced this word. What do you do? Same as before. You literally just drag, click and drag, click and drag, delete. It's that easy. It's not very difficult. As, as you can listen Here, to Here, another edition of Metal Wave Life. This is... It's not that difficult. It's very easy, actually. For example, another part of music is here. It's very obvious that it is music, so I can do this. And then, of course, delete as close as possible. You want to give enough space between the words so it won't sound robotic. Hit it. Absolute classic. And it sounds natural, but you don't want to also overdo it at the same time. So yeah, that is basically how it works. That's the basics or basic crusts of cutting the clips together. But an important thing before you submit this to us as a podcast or literally you try to publish it on your own, it doesn't matter. The first thing, the only thing that you need to do, there's tons of effects, there's tons of favorites, there's tons of things you can do on the clip. There's one thing we always want you to do. And that is you need to normalize the sound to minus 3 dB. It is the basic, the most basic, basic, basic effect, but it makes it sound so much better. It's basic compression, and it will not make you worry about your levels. If you're very, uh, especially if you scream a lot or you're very high on your decibel, don't be afraid. It will make it as normal to the ear as possible. You can do it through amplitude and compression and normalize. But I'm not going to show you this way because I know you're not going to use this way because the easiest way to do it, actually, because that is in, on literally every audition on campus, if you go to favorites, it will literally be right here. Normalize to minus 3 dB. You just press it, wait for a few seconds, there it is. Now it sounds way better. Let's see. What's up, Power Farm? It's me, Evan, your favorite me It makes a whole lot of difference. And after that, of course, you can export your file. And of course, when you export it, you can do it as a dot .wav, or as a .mp3, but if you're planning for us to upload it on Spotify or you want to upload it on Spotify, it's better to have it as an mp3. I know it will compress it a bit and it, the format will not be the clearest of sounds, but it's easier to upload and share online. So I would suggest that you go with an mp3. So that was it. That was the basic first audition tutorial. Uh, I'll be back teaching you Audacity and many other things, hopefully in the future. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. Have a good one.